Hello and welcome back. Today we're doing a video on basic insulation. We've done the return elbow. So now we've got the turning elbow, which is a double elbow. It can go left or right. We have the rising elbow, which goes off in the same direction, 90 degrees. Also these are at 90 degrees. And we have the standard elbow. I've, I've included this standard elbow. We should all know how to do that, but I thought, you know, we'll, we'll put it in anyway. Right, so let's get these moved out of the way. What we're going to do is we're going to start off with this one, which is just a standard elbow. And then we're going to move into the first of our double elbows, which is the rising elbow. And then we're going to go into our turning elbow, which can go left or right. And really, when we come to do this piece here, I will show you, you know, you cut one way it goes left, cut the other way it goes right. It's as simple as that. So let's move these out of the way then and learn how to make these. We'll start off with the standard elbow here. So let's get these moved out of the way. Now right, we've got our trusted uh, insulation saw here, which is very handy for cutting polystyrene with because you get no mess. So let's start off by doing a standard elbow. So what, we, what we'd do is we'd measure, we've got a pipe, so this is our pipe here, like that, it's a bit of insulation. We'd measure to where it turns, so I'll just put another one in like that. So you would measure from here to the pipe, which we have three and a half inches. So what we would do is measure to the pipe, we take off the wall thickness, which is one inch. So our three and a half inches is now two and a half inches. So we're measuring two and a half inches like this. And we use the diameter. So in this, this instance, what we're going to do is just put that across it like that. And then I cut off join the saw, just mark it there like that. So I'm going to just mark those in the marker pen. So we've got a line there. And one there. So that's the diameter of our section. So all we need to do is take our insulation saw and just cut across the diameter like that. We don't force anything, we just do a straight slow cut until we're through the section. There we go. And then the piece that we measured, this piece, we take that, we put them together like this, making sure it's flush on the back and you flush on the sides and then you just cut across the face like that. So there we go. No forcing, just let the saw do the work and then we're through. And as you can see with an insulation saw you get no mess. So let's get a fixer tape there and just put them together. Oh, of course, I'll just mention this. Sometimes when you're doing this, you have a pipe and it's a knuckle fitting, which is quite bulbous. So as you do, is you just mark in like that. And you just simply just scoop that piece out like this. And then cut it through there. So that, that, that wood, have got a bin down here, just put that straight in the bin, we don't like mess. And then I'll just show you that again. So if, it, if it's a knuckle fitting, so it's big bulbous knuckle fitting, you know, like you get on plumbing work, you just cut that out like that. So put it in there and then just scoop it out. This is about an eighth of an inch. That's all you need to take out. And that will give you, just straighten the bin with that. Alright, so that, that there will give you, as you can see, for a knuckle fitting. If it's the other type and you've got a bend fitting, so you've got a slight radius on it, we put it together like that and then just the same again, about an eighth, just take it out the inside like that. So you do that on all your elbow fittings when you make them up. So they're the two different types, you have a knuckle fitting and a radius fitting, that's how you do that. And then when you put them together you see they'll fit perfectly. So let's just put that together. And there you can see, look, perfect 90 degree elbow and no gaps. So 
So that's the first of our fittings, the standard elbow. So let's move that out of the way. Let's put this down here. And now we're going to do the first of our double fittings. So again, we're going to use 50 mil. So you've measured the pipe, you've got three inches, you take the wall thickness off, which is 25 mil. So we're taking off 25 mil. So we're measuring in, just getting the camera shot there. We're measuring in two inches, 50 mil lot. Mark that in. Now you can use the section, you just put that across on the diameter like that. So it's flush. You've got this there and you're just marking on the other side there like that. That gives you your diameter. We'll just mark that in so you can see it. So there's our diameter. Now we take our insulation saw and we just cut across the diameter. So let's all do the work, don't force anything. And we take the measured piece, put that on the end, making sure, making sure we're flush on this side and we just cut across, cut across the face here, so that's what we do next. We just cut across the face. So there we go, absolutely perfect, beautifully flat, and we'll just take that together again. And again, if it was a radius fitting, just put them together, scoop a piece out of it. And if it is a knuckle fitting, you just scoop out, as I showed you before. And that's all you need to do. So it fits beautifully on the pipe. So that's the start of our riser fitting. So we go back to the one we measured. We're having a rise of three, three inches. So we've got a rise of three inches. As you measured the pipe, we've got three inches. Take an inch off for the fitting, which will give you two inches. So that's what you measure in there. So that's two inches, measure it in, and then it's plus the diameter. Again, you can just use the bit of section to give you that. So it's like that, just put it on against, so it runs there, and just scraps in the other side like that. Beautiful. And then all we need to do then is just mark that on so you can see it. Now this time we just cut across opposite, so the opposite way on, and that will form our rising elbow. So I'll just cut straight across there like that. Don't force anything, beautifully done. Move that out of the way, bring this back in. And again, this is the cut piece, we measured it. Put that together there like that. Just put a fix around it. And all we need to do is just take our saw and cut flush it against that face there and just cut that off. There we go, beautiful flat face. So we've, we've done that, we've got that and we're going up and our rise is going to be 50mm again. So we've got a 3 inch riser, 50mm. So we we'll just mark on there 50 mil. And again, with this type of elbow, you can use the section to give you your diameter. So you just put that on there like that, making sure it's in line. Flush on the back. So you flush on this side here. Put that together like that. Just scratching the line so you can see it. I'll just mark that on the mark so you can see it on the camera shot. So that's there. Like that. So all we need to do now is just cut that off. So you just cut between the lines. Like that. Let the saw do the work. Don't force anything. No need to force anything. Let the saw do the work. There we go. We tip that over there. We put that. Oh, we're supposed to cut that off flat, aren't we? What a mistake tonight. So really now all we needed to do was just measure in 50mm there and cut that straight off. We're going straight into another double elbow there, aren't we? We don't need that. So there we go, cut that straight off. The one you, you measured, you bring that across. 
and we just cut that straight off. So there we go. We fix the tape round there and we'll put that together. All the others are escaping. There they go. Got them back. So all we need to do now is just put these together. The reason I'm using solid tape is so you can see when you've done these, there's actually no gap. And then the opposite, so that's your riser. As you can see, there are no gaps in my workmanship. Absolutely perfect, first time every time. That's what you need to be achieving. And it's what I keep saying, it's practice that makes perfect. It's practice that makes a good trade. There we go. So there we are. There's the first of our double elbows, the rising elbow. Beautifully done, let's move that out of the way. So, the next on our list is the turning elbow. So what we'd do is bring the section in and we start our elbow the same as the others. So we'll just measure in 50mm, we'll do it from there, just measure in 50mm. So we've measured to the part, we've got 3 inches, take an inch off of the wall thickness which gives us our 50mm. So 50mm in, like that. We can still use the section to start this off. So you just put that on there like that. You know it's absolutely banging, the back's flush there. And you just need to scratch in the scratch line there. Use a marker pen. So you can see it on the camera shot. There we go, so that's the start of our elbow. The reason I'm using the big insulation saw is it gives a nice, straight, good, flat cut. So you just cut straight across the face like that. And of course it makes very little mess. Now the bit we've measured, we take that, put that on there, and we just cut straight across that face there like that. So just cut straight across the face. There we go. Nice and flat. Just take that together. Now there's a lot of things that go wrong with elbows, is it? The rush and the, the face is out flat. If you can look at that, look, you can see look across the face, the only direction you like, it is absolutely flat. So we're doing the turn. So what we need to do now is put them together like that. Making sure we're flush here. You can see it's beautifully flat. Take them together. Right, so we're measured again and again we've got a three inch to the pipe. So we measure from there to the pipe and we've got three inches. So you take an inch off the insulation, which is an inch as you see. So you take an inch off, which gives us 50 mil. So we've got 50 mil and then we just put in our diameter, which is two and seven eighths. So that's two inches and seven eighths. And this time we take our trusted joiner saw which has been cut off and we're just marking a line like that and the same again there. The idea is to try and keep these straight. So just roll the section and keep it reasonably straight. We'll just mark that in and mark a pen so you can see it. There we go. So now you know what we've been up to. So what we, what we do then is you take the saw and all you've got to do is cut between the lines. Which is often easier said than done. So you look down your saw and you line up this edge of the saw with that line and this edge of the saw with that line there. Or the back edge of the saw with that line. It depends on where you are looking. So you've lined them up. You can see the saw's running flat and you just cut. 
keeping this straight at the top, keeping you at 90 degrees. And again, as you can see, it's a nice flat cut because you've used the big saw, it keeps it flat, you're not forcing anything. So all you need to do now is you measure it in. Again, we're doing the uh, thing that you've measured to the part and it's three inches, which gives you your 50 mil after you've taken your inch off. So what we'd do is we'd just measure up 50 mil and that's where we cut off. So if we turn the section round like that, and if you used it back of the section, the manufactured end, it should be at 90 degrees and you just cut it off which will keep you at 90 degrees. All right, so the last one, as you go up, put them together. And we just cut that off. Fix the tape on that. Those together. And our first bit. And there we have our turn. And as I said before, when you cut this one, depending on which way round you had the section at the time when you cut it would determine which way around that gets cut, as you can see, left or right. It doesn't really matter, it's all down to which way you want facing. So if you cut the easy one first, where you can use the section to mark it out, and then just cut the, the opposite direction to what you want, and it comes out beautifully. And as you can see, these are perfect first time, every time. If you use this method to cut your sections, you'll see it'll come out beautifully first time, every time. As you can see, look, stands beautifully, 90 degrees. Stands beautifully, 90 degrees. That's our two doubles and our single. Where did we do that? I'll put that down somewhere. Oh, I did with that one. There we go. There's one up there. So that's all our sections. I'll please share, like and subscribe. And until next time, as always, practice makes perfect. Until next time, goodbye.